Uh, welcome to Standard Math uh, basic series for complex analysis. For this video, we're going to talk a little bit about convergence and uh, convergence for complex series. Uh, so uh, given a complex series, uh, sum from n equals 1 to infinity, z1 plus z2, dot, 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 et cetera, uh, which is, it looks very similar to a a series of real numbers, and it, it can be treated similarly. Uh, so we can say this converges if and only if uh, expanding the same z of n is real part plus an imaginary part. So we're going to say this is really, this converges really the two separate series of the sum of the real parts and the sum of the imaginary parts converges. And this is intuitive and, and true, since if one of these didn't converge, clearly this one converge. And if this didn't converge, then uh, we no way these both converge. So these two uh, are equivalent to each other. Uh, so another way to establish convergence of a complex series is the uh, Cauchy's criteria. So uh, Cauchy's criteria, it's like for real numbers, but we uh, make sure we have the moduli here. So. Epsilon is a real number, we get a real number here. Uh, so if we have, so Cauchy's criteria is for some big N, if we have M and N, both bigger, M bigger than N, bigger than big N, then no matter the M and N, uh, the, this sum, Zn plus Zn plus one, da, 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 all the way, Zm, uh, will always be less than epsilon. So we can take M uh, as far as we want, this will always be at less than epsilon, and this is a uh, necessary, this is, Necessary and sufficient condition for the convergence of a complex series. Uh, so we can consider a series that are sums of functions of complex variables. So we have some domain uh, that these functions were that we're looking at for these functions. Uh, and so this brings up the concept of uniform convergence, and we can say some, the series is uniformly convergent if uh, Kaji's criteria is valid, n greater than m, greater than some big N, uh, the partial sum f of n of z plus f n plus one z, all the way f of m, the, uh, the modulator of that is less than any epsilon greater than zero, as small as we want, uh, we just have to keep picking n bigger. And so if this is true for all z in our domain, we can uh, say this series is uniformly convergent in our domain. And so, uh, so one test for uh, uniform convergence is the weir stress uh, m test. And so that says if each one of these on the domain is less than, their minor is less than uh, the value of some uh, convergent real series, then this series will also be uniformly convergent. So if we say f of n of z, uh, the moduli is less than m of n for all z in our domain, then we can say our partial sum here, f of n z to f of m of z, uh, using the triangle inequality, we can split up the moduli. And then these are all less than uh, mn, da da da, all the way mm. And because uh, we're assuming this series is a convergent series, it satisfies Cauchy's criteria. So for nm bigger than some big n, big enough, these are less than epsilon, epsilon any real number greater than zero, as small as we want. And so this is true. Uh, this is true for uh, any z in our domain. And so these are. So we can conclude this is a uniformly convergent. And that's uh, weird stress M test, which is an important test. Uh, one other thing we can show is that a uniformly convergent series converges to a continuous function. So, uh, so we want to prove saying f of z is our infinite sum of all our, uh, 
all our functions from n equals 1 to infinity. Uh, we want to show that f of z minus f of z naught, the moduli of that. Uh, for z minus, moduli z minus z naught less than delta, this will be less than epsilon. So we break this up into three sums. Uh, note by the triangle inequality, this is true. So three uh, partial, or uh, three sums over here, f of z minus s p of z, s p of z is meant to be the partial sum, uh, f1 of z to f p of z. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this uh, is just all the terms after s p plus 1 of z. Uh, second, f s p of z minus s p at z naught. Uh, third, f of z naught minus s of p at z naught. So, uh, so we're assuming this is uniformly convergent. So for all z in our domain, uh, for, and p large enough, we can say the moduli of s p uh, of f p plus one z plus f p plus two z da 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 all the way to infinity is less than epsilon for p large enough. But that's just this sum here. So for p large enough, we can say this is less than epsilon over three. This is just a difference between two continuous functions. So for z uh, minus z not less than sum of delta, we can say this is less than epsilon minus three. And then again for uh, for this sum over here, it's just at a different point z not. So for p large enough, we can say this is less than epsilon over three. And so this whole thing is less than epsilon and we conclude for z minus z naught less than delta. Uh, absolute value of f of z minus f of z naught, uh, yeah, the moduli of that is less than some epsilon. And so, and so we conclude that our function, our infinite sum is in fact continuous. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please check out the rest of the videos in the complex analysis playlist. Uh, thank you.